of Shad season five. We're moving into the hot zone, really, I'd say. So we are going to try and find out which team moves through to the next round. And today we have a very, very strong competition between St. Peter's High School and Kita Senior High School. So without much ado, let's welcome our contestants onto the stage. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are we? Okay, so I will start by asking our team from Ketat Senior High School to introduce themselves, please. Wisdom Apreku, second year, General Arts. Hello, Wisdom. Gavunga Justice, second year, General Arts. Hello, Justice. Joseph Gavon, final year, General Science. Welcome, Joseph. Amekuji Reeves, General Science, final year. Welcome, Amekuji. Welcome. As our Ketat team, we're going to move over to the team from St. Peter's. St. Peter's, may you introduce yourself? Satanam Dede, General Science. Welcome, Satanam. I'm Mo Amari Kwesi Ofori, General Science. Welcome, Kwesi. A champion, Joshua Jinfi, General Art. Welcome, Joshua. Emmanuel Danzo, General Art. Welcome, Emmanuel. <laughs> Welcome. You've been through a few rounds, so I'm sure you appreciate how quickly this goes, okay? So you give it your best shot from the start. Right, we're going to start with round one, the right corner round, which is brought to us courtesy of our headline sponsor, Kellogg's. Round one of the Shark Squares is brought to you by Kellogg's. We have eight questions to answer in two minutes. Really, your battle is against the clock, so if you're stuck, just say pass, and if we have time, I'll come back and repose that question for you to try, okay? I will start with Kita on my right. Are we ready? And your time starts once I've read the first question out. What is the meaning of the term Maghreb? Is it the North, farmers, the West, or warriors? The North. The North is incorrect. It's the West. What name was given to North Africa by the Greeks? Was it Carthage, Rome, Libya, or Barbary? Libya. Libya is correct. What is the meaning of the name Berbers, fishermen, warriors, farmers, foreigners? Foreigners. Correct. Which of these countries is not part of the athletes' lands? Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Egypt. Egypt. Correct. Which is the biggest country in North Africa? Is it Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco, or Libya? Algeria. Algeria is correct. Which countries hosted the FIFA's Men's World Cup in the following years? 1934. Italy. You don't need to buzz. It's your question, so don't worry. Uh, 1938. France. France is correct. And 1954. Sweden. Sweden is incorrect. It was actually Switzerland we we're looking for on that one. All right. You've actually attempted all your questions with a minute to spare. All right. Well done, Kita Senior High School. Ask them. Excellent work. Okay. We're going to move over to St. Peter's Senior High School. Are we ready? Okay, in which country in North Africa did the Arab Spring start? Was it Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria, Libya? Tunisia. Correct. Which is the longest river in, the, in North Africa? Is it the Volta, the Nile, Mississippi, or Rockel? River Nile. Correct. Which is the biggest city in North Africa? Aswan, Cairo, Tripoli, or Tunis? Aswan. Correct. Which is the most populous country in North Africa? Is it Libya, Egypt, Tunisia, or Morocco? Pass. You're passing on that one. When did North Africa become a Roma province? Was it 200 BC, 146 BC, 1462 AD, or 1919 AD? B. B or D? B. B is correct. Which countries hosted the FIFA Men's World Cup in the following years? 1958. Sweden. Sweden is correct. 1962. Chile. Chile is correct. And 1966. England. England is correct. You passed on one. Which is the most populous country in North Africa? Libya, Egypt, Tunisia, or Morocco? Egypt. Egypt is incorrect there. It's actually Libya. That brings us to the end of your round as well. Okay? 
So first round is already over, very quickly, right? Okay, so the question on the most populous country in North Africa, the answer was actually Egypt, right? Yeah. Um, I had Libya here. Let's see what the scores are looking like. All right, at the end of round one, Keta Senior High School have 60 points and St. Peter's Senior High School have 80 points. We have a substitution for both teams or one team? Welcome, welcome. Welcome. So we have new additions to both teams. May I have a newbie from St. Peter's introduce himself? Elvis. Welcome, Elvis. And a newbie from Keta Senior High School? Achi Salon, Elizabeth. Welcome, Elizabeth. Okay, so we're going to move on to the R-cubed round. In this round, you are asked questions alternately in the areas of reading, writing, and arithmetic. Each school will be posed the question for 10 maximum points if it's their question. A wrong answer attracts a penalty, minus five. If you are not sure or you jump in or you decide you don't want to attempt it, it will be passed on to the other team for a bonus of plus five points. All incorrect answers in this round attract a penalty of minus five. Are we all clear on that? Okay? Right. So here, I want you to pick the most synonymous expression to the underlined expression in the sentence I read, okay? We're starting with St. Peter's this time round. Your question. Before his actual interview, Clinton Aku Ajiman was truly in his element. Truly in his element is what we're looking for the synonymous expression for. A, flustered in nervousness. B, feeling relaxed and confident. C, at his best. D, intuitive of failure. Yes. C. C is incorrect. So I'm going to pass it over to Keta. B. B is the correct answer. Feeling relaxed and confident is the right answer. Okay. Keta, your main question. I have been betrayed by my own flesh and blood. Flesh and blood is what we're looking for. Is it A, relatives, B, friends, C, children, D, acquaintances? Relatives. Relatives. Relatives is incorrect, so I'm going to pass that over to St. Peter's. I'm listening, Elvis. Children. Children is the correct answer for plus five. Okay. Right, your question proper now, or your main question for St. Peter's. He blew out all the candles at one go. At one go is the one we're looking for, okay? A, suddenly, B, at once, C, simultaneously, or D, at one attempt? Yes, Elvis, St. Peter's. D. D. D is the correct answer. D is the correct answer. Keta Senior High, your question now. Same thing, all right? Synonymous expressions. The people in North India are known for keeping open house. Keeping open house is what we're looking for. A, never locking it. B, keeping house well ventilated. C, offering hospitality to everybody. Or D, not worrying about its security. Elizabeth. D. D is incorrect, so I offer it for a possible bonus. Yes, Elvis. C. C is correct for the plus five. Right, so the next set of questions, we're looking for the best explanation for idioms. The best explanation for idioms. And we're starting with St. Peter's. To have an axe to grind. Is it to work for both sides? To have no results? A private end to serve? To fail to arouse interest? Or none of these? I'm listening. None of these. Incorrect. I will pass it over to Keta for the plus five. You didn't want to try. A private end to serve is what we were looking for. Keta, your main question now. To keep one's temper, is it A, to be aloof from, 
B, to preserve one's energy. C, to be in a good mood. D, to become angry. Or E, none of these. Elizabeth. E. A is incorrect, so I'll pass that over for the bonus. Elvis. C. You're saying C is correct for the plus five. C is correct for the plus five. Okay, St. Peter, it's your main question. Why can't he see the wood for the trees? Is it A, to encourage, B, a silly person, C, a fool, or D, unable to see the main point? D. D is the correct answer, Elvis. D is the correct answer. Keta, for the last question of this type. Ever since I met her, I have been on the horns of a dilemma. Is it A, to be very confused, B, of the first quality, C, to have the choice between two equal evils, or D, to be very busy? Joseph. A. A is the correct answer. This is the correct answer. We're now moving on to maths questions, St. Peter's. Are we ready? Steve has four red balls, three blue balls, and two green balls. How many distinct ways can they be arranged in a straight line? Is it 1,260, 510, 480, 256, or none of these? 30 seconds. Okay, ready to answer? 1,260 ways. You are correct, Saturnam from St. Peter's. You're correct. 1,260 was the correct answer. Keta Senior High, are we ready? Working together, Bob, Joe, and Evan could finish mowing their large known in six sevenths of an hour. Six over seven of an hour. If each worked alone, Bob could finish in half the time that Joe could, and Joe could finish in half the time that Evan could. How long would it take Bob to mow the lawn alone? Is it A, six hours, B, 2.5 hours, C, two hours, D, 1.5 hours, or E, none of these? You're halfway, you have 15 seconds. Okay. 1.5 hours. You are correct. 1.5 hours is the correct answer. Well done there. Your question now, St. Peter's. Eric runs at 10 meters per second and a moving walkway next to him moves at four meters in, um, per second in the same direction. He manages to run 794 meters in 70 seconds by at alternating between running on the moving walkway and running beside it. How many seconds did he spend on the moving walkway? Is it A, 46.5, B, 23.5, C, 49, D, 21, or E, none of these? for an option from guitar. Okay, time is gone. We were looking for 23.5 seconds. 23.5 seconds. You look like you had it. Did you have it? No, oh, okay. You look like you had it and just didn't mention it. All right, Kita, your question. What is the number of positive factors of 465? Yes, I'm listening. Six. Six is incorrect, so I'll hand it over. Um, yeah, that's it. Eight. Eight is the correct answer, right on the bell. Right on the bell. Eight is the correct answer. Okay, your question now. How many diagonals does a regular dodecagon or dodecagon have? 
Is it 35, 54, 66, 132, or none of these? Set it down. 54. 54 is the correct answer. 54 is the correct answer. Ketayomi in question. Find the sum of the three distinct prime factors of 2006. Your options are 78, 72, 74, or 1005, or none of these. I'm listening. 1005. Unfortunately not, so I'll hand that over. Three seconds, St. Peter's. I think you were out of time there. Let me just check on that one. Yes, you were out of time, Settenham. All right. The answer we're looking for, what were you going to tell me? 78. You are correct. Unfortunately, you were out of time. He was out of time. Sorry. All right, your last question of this round, okay? What is the maximum number of intersection points of two-fifth degree polynomials, each with leading coefficient A equals to 1? Is it A2, B3, C4, D5, or E, none of the above? You have 10 seconds left. You have 10 seconds left. You don't have an answer. Right, Kita, do you care to try? No? Okay, the answer we were looking for was four. Four. Okay? Final question of this round for you, Kita. Okay? What is the square root of 275,625. I'm listening. Joseph. Okay, time. One. Take too long. Yes, St. Peter's. Yeah. Elvis? 525. 525, okay. That is correct for the bonus there. Let me remind you, if you press the buzzer, you must answer straight away, okay? All right, so we're at the end of round two. All right, so let's see what the scores are at the end of this round, okay? Right, at the end of round two, Keta Senior High have no points yet. St. Peter's got 55 points. 55 points. A good round for St. Peter's. Media partners for the Shark Squares. When you wake up in the morning before you start your day, breakfast time is chaos time. For work and for play, for a great start to your day, breakfast time is chaos time. We always start our day with a nourishing Kellogg's breakfast, powered with the goodness of grains and 11 essential vitamins and minerals. So in our family, breakfast time is Kellogg's time. This advertisement has been voted and approved by the FDA. Whenever Princess starts, the neighbors do complain that her voice and the beat are too loud. Who is scared of the voices of tomorrow's superstars? You special in your way. Indomie Instant Noodles tastes great. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Today, the question is no longer, why do we have problems? But rather, how can we spin those challenges 
into opportunities. This is the revolutionary mindset we, students here at Academic City, are driven by. Academic City, we believe that the challenges of today are nothing like the opportunities of tomorrow. Hence, we're poised for the future. And so we say, come join us. Bakuli. Yasunyan. Uyayi Tibatane. Zalfula Nabia. Yenu Wujwen. Brabe Kayam. Ao, Amansat Shame Gojao. As we lead the charge to empower the next generation of future leaders. Academic City University College, redefining university education. Are you a motivated student interested in English, mathematics, science and computational thinking? You want to stay competitive with hundreds of thousands of smart students from across the globe? Welcome to the Ghana Olympiad Academy. At the Ghana Olympiad Academy, we give access to students from grade 2 to SHS 3 to take part in international Olympiads. Candidates, prepare and seat these exams online and get the chance to qualify for the Olympiads in rotating host nations across the world. Some of the international Olympiads include the International Junior Math Olympiad, Vanda Science Olympiad, Kangaroo Math, Hippo English Olympiad, Design Thinking, Robotics and Computational Thinking, amongst others. Join the Ghana Olympiad Academy today and catch up with the rest of the world academically. Go to www.ganaolympiadacademy.com or WhatsApp 0570-898-762 for more. Alright, round three. Let's get started. Let me read the rules out to you. Much as you know them, I'm going to remind you anyway. Questions are posed to both schools. You can buzz in at any time while the question is being read for a maximum of 10 points. That's if you're correct. There'll be a deduction of minus five if you're wrong. Questions will be read fully for the other team if I've not finished reading the question for the chance of a bonus also of 10 points. A wrong answer will attract negative five. Are we all clear on that? Are we ready? Question one, identify this theory whose name reflects the way Earth would appear from space. We're out of time. The answer I was looking for is snowball theory. Question two. The most recent period of global glaciation, glaciation must have preceded the explosion in animal diversity at the start of this geological period about four, 540 million years ago. That's Keta, senior high. Joseph, 
The Permian period. The Permian period. Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Okay. What I was looking for was the Cambrian period. The Cambrian period. Question three. A large increase in ice coverage will greatly increase this quantity, thereby creating a positive feedback loop to keep the earth cold. It is the fraction of electromagnetic radiation reflected back into space. We were looking for the albedo quantity. The albedo quantity. Question four. This constellation, Epsilon star, is made of two binaries and thus sometimes called the double-double. Right, that was St. Peter's. Gemini. Uh, bear with me. Incorrect. I'm going to read the rest of the question. A common type of standard candle is named for this constellation's variable star, RR. The ring nebula is in this constellation as is the first star other than the sun to be photographed. Vega is the brightest star in, for 10 points, what constellation named for a musical instrument? A few seconds left. You're not sure. Did the rest of the question help you? What were we looking for? Lyra. You're right, you're right. Question five. What is the most common name for the histone octima used... Ah, okay, that was St. Peter's. Nucleosome. You are correct for nucleosome. Great interruption there. Okay, question six. Name the elements in the following reaction that have been oxidized. Zinc plus copper sulfate. Right, that came from St. Peter's. Zinc. Zinc is the correct answer. Zinc is the correct answer. Question seven. Which of the following is not characteristic of B-type stars like Rigel or Saika? A, very numinous. B, apparent blue color. C, medium strength hydrogen spectral lines. Or D, average solar mass of about 3.2. St. Peter's. D. D is the correct answer. D is the correct answer. Question eight. According to VSEPR bonding theory, if two of the bonded atoms in an octahedral molecule are... Right, that's St. Peter's? Square planar. It is. <laughs> Very good. Okay, question nine. According to VSEPR bonding theory, if one of the bonded atoms in a trigonal bipyramidal molecule is replaced by two electron pairs, the molecule will assume what geometric shape, such as in CIF3? A, T-shaped. B, St. Peter's. T-shaped. You're correct. You're correct. A great good interception there. Question 10. And the final one of this round. Which of the following mutations will most likely affect a gene the least? A, single base deletion. B, single base substitution. I'm listening, St. Peter. Single base substitution. You are correct for that one. So at the end of that round, let's see what the scores are looking like. So at the end of round three, Keta, you owe me some points. You owe me five points. St. Peter's, 55 points. <laughs> right, we're moving to the final round. The final round of this contest. Okay, our one-on-one -on -one round brought to us courtesy of Indomie. The Shark Squares round four is brought to you by Indomie. English, Maths, Science, and General Knowledge are the specialist areas. You are paired. You have two questions in each area for a maximum of 10 points. The good thing here is an incorrect answer does not attract any penalties. All right? So may I have our English specialist stay and the rest of us leave for the moment? So we have 
have Elvis and Elizabeth. Right, are we ready, Elvis and Elizabeth? Okay, your first question, you're going to choose the odd one out for me. A, requirements, B, criteria, C, measurements, T, D, okay, Elvis. C, C. Incorrect, so I'll continue. And D, conjecture, D. Elizabeth. D. D is the correct answer, D is the correct answer. Your second question, spell, Piccadillo. I'm listening, Elvis. The moment you bring, P you have to say. P-I-C-C-A-D-I-L-L-O, Piccadillo. Incorrect. Elizabeth, care to try? P-I-C-C-O-D-I-L-O. Unfortunately, incorrect there as well. It was P-E-C-C-A-D-I-L-L-O, a relative minor fault or sin. Thank you to my English specialist. May I have my mathematicians on here, please? Welcome. Welcome. So we have Setonam and Amiguchi. Welcome. You have two questions. Ready? A salad must have exactly two of three different kinds of vegetables, two of four different kinds of fruit, and one of two different kinds of croutons. How many possible salads are there? A, 36, B, 30, C, 28, D, 24, or E, none of these. Right, 36. You're correct, Amaguchi, 36, very good. Second question for your mathematicians. Two lasers with equations x equals four and x equals seven are shown from above on a parabolic mirror with equation y equals x2. After both rays are reflected through what point do both rays first pass? So what point do they first pass? Is it A, 0, 0,1 a half, or B, 0, 0,1, or C, 0, 0,0, or D, 0, a quarter, or E, none of these? Amaguchi? Zero comma one out of four. You're correct, Amaguchi. You're correct. Excellent work from you there, Amaguchi. Brilliant. May I have my scientists on stage, please? Welcome. So we have Joseph and Kwesi. Right, are we ready? First question, which of the following most accurately represents the complete range of wavelengths to which the human eye is sensitive? Is it A, 320 to 600 nanometers, B, 380 to 740 nanometers, C, 450 to 850 nanometers? Kwame. B. B, St. Peter's get the point there, B, B, well done. Second question of this round. Which of the following is not true? A, over 50% of all stars that appear to be single are double or multiple systems. B, aurora borealis can occur in all four seasons. C, right, that was you, Joseph. B. B is incorrect, so I'm going to continue for you, Chrissy, all right? C, tetanus toxin causes muscle stiffness in affected humans, and D, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, or C-E-R-N, began colliding electrons in September of 2008. Yes. D. D is the correct answer, Kwasi. D is the correct answer. Thank you, scientists. May I have a social scientist up here, please? Welcome. So we have Wisdom and Joshua. Are we ready? Can you both see the monitors? Yeah, wisdom? You can? And Joshua, okay. So wait, see the flag that comes on the screen and tell me what country is for. Right, that was you, Joshua. Central African Republic. You are correct, Central African Republic. Right, 
Second one is an audio. You're going to listen to someone speaking. You need to tell me who this individual is. They're Ghanaian. All right? I think that it is easier to go back to the cumbersome nature of transacting in cash, forgetting about the convenience which we all have to pay for mm -hmm. to ensure that that service continues running. If you think it is easier to carry money in sacks yeah. and risk being attacked by robbers along the way and take transportation to carry that money to wherever we need okay. to take it. It is the wonderful in all Ursula Owusu speaking there. Ursula Owusu speaking there. All right. That brings us to the end of the fourth round and the end of this contest. May I have the other competitors join us on the stage, please? So at the end of that round, we're tied. Qatar have 30 points. St. Peter's have 30 points. Very good. Very good. Okay. So let's see what the total for the contest actually is and who is going through to the next round. So at the end of that round, Qatar Senior High School have 85 points. St. Peter's Senior High School have a whopping 220 points. And I think it was the STEM round. It was the STEM round that did it for you guys. Pretty strong there. So, Keta, that's where you need to focus for your next time. All right? The STEM round, for sure. So, that brings us to the end of the first contest of this episode. My name is Evelyn Ejipong. I will see you after the break. Media partners for the Shark Squares. When you wake up in the morning before you start your day, breakfast time is chaos For work and for play, for a great start to your day, breakfast time is chaos time. We always start our day with a nourishing Kellogg's breakfast, powered with the goodness of grains and 11 essential vitamins and minerals. So in our family, breakfast time is Kellogg's time. This advertisement has been voted and approved by the FDA. Whenever Princess starts, the neighbors do complain that her voice and the beat are too loud. Who is scared of the voices of tomorrow's superstars? You special in your way. It's me, Indomie instant noodles tastes great. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Today, the question is no longer, why do we have problems? But rather, how can we spin those challenges into opportunities? This is the revolutionary mindset we, students here at Academic City, are driven by. Academic City, we believe that the challenges of today are nothing like the opportunities of tomorrow. Hence, we're poised for the future. And so we say, come join us. Pakuli. Yasanyan. We are eating batani. Zaful and a beer. Yen will join. Brabe Kayo. Ow, I'm going to start Shamil Gojao. As we lead the charge to empower the next generation of future leaders. Academic City University College, redefining university education.
Are you a motivated student interested in English, mathematics, science and computational thinking? You want to stay competitive with hundreds of thousands of smart students from across the globe? Welcome! to the Ghana Olympiad Academy. At the Ghana Olympiad Academy, we give access to students from grade 2 to SHS 3 to take part in international Olympiads. Candidates prepare and seat these exams online and get the chance to qualify for the Olympiads in rotating host nations across the world. Some of the international Olympiads include the International Junior Math Olympiad, Vanda Science Olympiad, Kangaroo Math, Hippo English Olympiad, Design Thinking, robotics and computational thinking, amongst others. Join the Ghana Olympiad Academy today and catch up with the rest of the world academically. Go to www.ghanaolympiadacademy.com or WhatsApp 0570-898-762 for more. So welcome to our contestants. We have Opokuwari versus Sonran Christian High. Okay, so I need you to now introduce yourselves, please. Welcome. S.E. Dukwabina Justin, General Science, Final Year. Jamina Gabriel, General Science, Final Year. Ousu Inti Papayao, General Science, Final Year. Boapia Kwekudenchi, General Science, Final Year. Welcome our team from Opokuwari. Please Thank give you. them a round of applause. And then Sunrise Christian, introduce yourselves, please. Adiabo Messi, General Science, Final Year. Quarting Sebe Leslie, Final Year, offering General Science. Clarice, General Science, Final Year. Chairman Pabin Duncan, General Science, Second Year. You're welcome. We are welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Very good. Okay. So let's start. We're going to start with our right corner round. It's brought to us by the city of Kellogg. Round one of the Sharks Quiz is brought to you by Kellogg's. And the rules are as follows. You have two minutes to answer eight questions on social literacy. Correct answer will attract 10 points. A wrong answer attracts no deduction. Okay? So you basically, you need to just give it to your best shots. That's all we're looking for. If you're not sure on an answer, I advise you to pass, and I'll always come back to it uh, if we have time in the two minutes. I'll start with um, Opokuwari, am I right? Are we ready? Yes, madam. And your two minutes will start after I've read the first question. Question one, who invented Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg, Julian Mark Assange. Mark Zuckerberg. You're correct. Which year was Facebook discovered? 1990? 2004. Very good. Which Ghanaian scientist is referred to as the speed demon? Is it Prof Professor Isaiah Miguel Blankson, Professor F.K. Aluti, Professor Kwame... Kwabna Frimpon Boating or Professor Konete Ahulu? Professor F.K. Aluti. That's incorrect. I was looking for Professor Isaiah Miguel Blankson. Who was the first Ghanaian to earn a doctorate degree in the mathematical sciences? sciences? Was it Konete Ahulu, Kwabna Frimpon Boating, Kwame Nkrumah, or F.K. Aluti? Pass. You're passing on that. Which, when did the first train arrive in Ghana? Was it 1957? 1900, 1803, or 1903? 1903. Correct. The leaders of these countries, please. Namibia. Page. Gingob. Very good. Uh, South Korea. Pass. Croatia. Pass. Okay, so we have time to go back over your passes. 
Question four, who became the first Ghanaian to earn a doctorate degree in the mathematical sciences? Konete Ahulu. FK Aluti. You are correct on that one. And then two others. South Korea's leader. Shinzo Abi. Incorrect. We're looking for Yoon Suk Yu. And Croatia. Idachi. No, unfortunately not. Good try though. Zoran Milanovic was that, okay? Well done, you guys. Good start. Good start. Right. So, Sunrise, Christian. Your two minutes, okay? Eight questions. Again, same tactics. If you're unsure, pass, and I'll come back to it if you have time. Okay? First question. Who invented the term quiz? Was it Arthur Wynne, James Daly, Thomas Edison, pass. or James Watt? In which city do we have the headquarters of Facebook? California, London, Tokyo, Paris. California. Correct. In which city was Elon Musk born? Was it New York, Oslo, Pretoria, Cairo? Pretoria. Pretoria. Correct. Who invented the crossword puzzle? Arthur Wynne, Benjamin Franklin, the Wright brothers, or Thomas Edison? Thomas Edison. Incorrect. It was Arthur Wynne. When did the first car arrive in Ghana? Was it 1910? 1897? Countries and their leaders. Eritrea. Pass. Australia. Pass. Costa Rica. Pass. Pass. Okay, we're back to your passes now. Who invented the term quiz? Arthur Wynne, James Daly, Arthur Thomas Wynne. Edison, or James Watt? Arthur Wynne. Arthur Wynne is incorrect. I was looking for James Daly. When did the first car arrive in Ghana? 1910, 1897, 1902, or 1750? 1750. And incorrect, it was 1902 I was looking for. And countries and their leaders, Eritrea. Pass. Australia. Pass. And Costa Rica. Pass. Okay, so we've tried this a few times. I can go back over it. It's not going to make any difference. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so that brings us to the end of your round, okay? The passes where um, Eritrea's leader is called Afweki Isaias. Australia is Anthony Albanese, and Costa Rica is Carles Alvarado Quesada. All right? Well done, that brings us to the end of the first round. Good start. We have a substitution. Okay, we've got some substitutions. Okay, so our substitutions now. Come on, please. Make sure you've got the right name. Okay, so we've got Sunrise and Opokuwari both substituted. Right, so before I introduce our new members, our scores for the first round. Sunrise scored 20 points, Opokuwari scored 50 points. Well done, well done to both teams. Okay, so our new members, you need to introduce yourselves to me. So for Pokuwari, we have... Isaac Alfred, General Science Final Year. Okay, and? Konyiki Henry, General Science Final Year. Welcome, Henry. Okay, so we're going to move on to round two. Please listen to the rules for me. It's called the R-cubed round. The questions are going to be on reading, writing, and arithmetic. Each school is posed a question for a maximum of 10 points. A wrong answer attracts a penalty of five points. If a school gets an answer wrong or they decide not to attempt the question, it will be passed on to the other team for a bonus of five points. However, should they also get it wrong, another five points will be deducted. So basically, correct answer if it's your main question, 10 points. If it's a bonus, five points. And any wrong answers in this round is a penalty five. Are we all clear on that? Right. Okay. So some spellings. So I'll say the word and the definition, and then I want you to spell it. Your word is nouveau, modern or up-to-date. Nouveau. Yes. N-O-U-V-E-A-U. -E Correct, for 10 points. Well done. Right, Opokuware, your word. Your word is up- Obfuscate. Obfuscate. 
made obscure, unclear or unintelligible. Okay. Of obfuscate is spelled O B F U S C A T E. Correct for 10 points. Well done there. Another spelling for you, Sunrise. Your word is obloque. Obloque, which is strong public condemnation. Listening. Obloque. Mm -hmm. O B L I Q U Y. Unfortunately, not correct. So I'll pass that over to Opokuwai for a possible five bonus points. No, you don't want it. Okay. It's O B L O Q U Y. So you said I instead of O. Okay. Right. Your main question, uh, Opokuwari. Your word is odontalgia, which is toothache. You're out of time. So, Sunrise, do you want to take that? Something is stuck. Okay. Odontalgia. O D O N T A L G I A. Correct for plus five. Good bonus pick up there. Good bonus pick up there. Right. Your main question now. All right. And these series of questions are on collective nouns. Collective <coughs> nouns. So a group of hawks. A cast. Correct for 10 points. Opokowari. A group of heron. Show. Shoal is correct. Sunrise. A group of horses. A stud. Unfortunately not. So I'll pass that over. A head. A head. I was also have taken stable or harass. Okay. And Pokora, your last of these questions. A group of hounds. A pack. A pack is correct. A pack is correct. Right, we're moving on to some maths questions now. So this one is for sunrise, right? The length of a rectangle is twice its width. If the width is increased by three and the length is decreased by four, the new rectangle has an area that is two square units more than the area of the original rectangle. What is the area of the new rectangle? 100. 100 is correct for 10 points. Good job. Just in time as well. Opokuwari, your maths question. The measure of the smallest angle in a triangle is half the measure of the largest angle in the triangle. If the measure of the third angle in the triangle is 28 degrees more different difference in degrees between the measures of the two largest angles in the triangle. Ten seconds left. Twelve. Twelve is incorrect, so I'll give it over for the bonus. Quiet thing I'm listening. Ten. Ten is correct for the plus five. Ten is correct for the plus five. Well done there. Your main question, please, Sunrise. The function g is defined as g of x equals five x plus four. The function f is defined as f of x equals kx plus 3. For some constant value k, if g of f of 8, right, so f in brackets 8 is equal to 2019, what is the value of f of g of 8? Right, I'm listening. Two 
1,204. Incorrect. Opokuwa. Your time is up. You were so close, Sunrise. It was 2,203. That's painful. That's painful. All right. Okay. Opokuwa, your question. What is the unit digit of 2 to the power 91 minus 9 to the power 12? You're halfway. Five. 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 Incorrect. I'll hand it over to Sunrise for the bonus. What were you going to give me the answer? No, you've been wrong. It's good. <laughs> We we're looking for seven. We we're looking for seven. Okay. Right. Um, your question. Your main question now, Sunrise. How many three-digit positive whole numbers have exactly one digit that is a seven? Five seconds. Pass. You're passing. Okay. Opokuwari, care to pick that up for the bonus? No. All right. For real numbers, this is for you, Okokori. For real numbers, X, Y, and Z, X is 25% greater than Y. Y is 30% greater than X, minus 2. And 12Z is equal to 5 in brackets, X plus Y, close brackets. What is the value of Z as a decimal to the nearest 10? As a decimal to the nearest 10. Sunrise. Pass. You're passing. Answer was three. Looking for three. Sunrise, your last question here. According to the pattern, what is the next number in the series 12, 15, 21, 30, 42, 57? 15 seconds. 75. 75 is correct. Well done. Opokuwari, your question, your last question of this round, and the last question for the whole round, actually. According to the pattern shown below, I'm going to read it to you, what is the English alphabet in the following sequence? P, M, J, G. What's the next alphabet? 15 seconds. E. E is incorrect. So I hand it over to Sunrise. Yes. D. D is the correct answer for the plus five. Good round. Good round. Okay. Good pick up there. That brings us to the end of round two. Let's see what the scores are looking at like. Right. So at the end of round two, Sunrise have 40 points. Opokuwari have 20 points. Let's give them a good round of applause there. Thank you. Thank you. Media partners for the Shucks Quiz. When you wake up in the morning before you start your day, breakfast time is chaos time. For work and for play, for a great start to your day, breakfast time is chaos time. We always start our day with a nourishing Kellogg's breakfast. Powered with the goodness of grains and 11 essential vitamins and minerals. So in our family, breakfast time is Kellogg's time. This advertisement has been voted and approved by the FDA. Whenever Princess starts, the neighbors do complain that her voice and the beat are too loud. Who is scared of the voices of tomorrow's superstars? You were special in your way. It's me. Me instant noodles. 
tastes great. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. The University of the Free State is one of the oldest institutions of higher education in South Africa. Established in 1904, the institution produces sought-after graduates on three campuses in Bloemfontein and Kwakwa in the Eastern Free State. Through the years, the university has grown to more than 40,000 undergraduate and postgraduate students spread across seven faculties. The UFS creates opportunities and growth through leading learning and teaching, focused research and impactful engagement with society. Situated in the heart of South Africa, our character of caring and diversity translates into an outstanding university experience. Are you a motivated student interested in English, mathematics, science and computational thinking? You want to stay competitive with hundreds of thousands of smart students from across the globe? Welcome to the Ghana Olympiad Academy. At the Ghana Olympiad Academy, we give access to students from grade 2 to SHS 3 to take part in international Olympiads. Candidates, prepare and seat these exams online and get the chance to qualify for the Olympiads in rotating host nations across the world. Some of the international Olympiads include the International Junior Math Olympiad, Vanda Science Olympiad, Kangaroo Math, Hippo English Olympiad, Design Thinking, Robotics and Computational Thinking, amongst others. Join the Ghana Olympiad Academy today and catch up with the rest of the world academically. Go to www.ganaolympiadacademy.com or WhatsApp 0570-898-762 for more. Right, we're going up to round three. This is where it gets very exciting. All right? Our STEM round, Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths round. I'll read the rules for you. Questions are posed to both schools. You can buzz in at any time while the question is being read for a maximum of 10 points for a correct answer and a deduction of five points for the wrong answer. The question will be read fully and immediately passed on to the school to get a chance of a 10 point bonus for the right answer. And again, a five point deduction for the wrong answer. So correct answer, 10 points, wrong answer, minus five. Are we ready? First of your 10 questions. What protein that takes its name from its apparent... B53. Very good. <laughs> Excellent pick up. Excellent pick up there. That's interesting. Question two. According to the general solubility rules, name all of the following five substances. Isaac. I own two hydroxide and barium sulfate. How did you know that? <laughs> Correct. Correct for 10 points. Question three. 
Consider a hypothetical reaction. A plus B. Yes, Isaac. One by ten is with negative two. Yes. Question four. What is the most common name for the field which is believed to act? The Higgs field. You are correct. It's the Higgs field. Question five. Tall volcano Olympus Mons is on what planet whose sunrise? Mars. Mars is correct. Question six. The carbon dioxide in this planet's atmosphere causes a greenhouse effect. Venus. Venus. Venus is correct. <laughs> Which of the following best describes how the most accurate value for the gravitational constants is that came from Opokuwari? True experimentation. Correct. Correct. Next question. Which of the following best describe how Thomas Young produced sufficiently coherent separate light sources in order, okay? By passing incoherent light first through a paper with one hole and second through a paper with two holes. Correct. <laughs> Which of the following is not true? A reaction that requires free energy is spontaneous. A. A. Correct. Okay, and then last question. Consider the reaction nitrogen gas plus, yeah. 0 0.03. <laughs> no, that one is incorrect. Bear with me one minute. So please listen clearly. This is the last question of this round, okay? Consider the reaction nitrogen gas plus 3H2 gas producing 2NH3 or 2 nitrogen ammonia gas. If the concentration of ammonia increases from 0.3 molar to 0.9 molar in a 20 minute period, find the average rate of reaction over this time interval. Sunrise. Give your answer to the second decimal place in moles per liter per minute. I'm listening, Quartin, quickly. Okay, we have 5.0 times 10 to the power negative 4. Incorrect. We were looking for 0 0.06. 0 0.06 on that one. Okay? All right, that brings us to the end of the STEM round. All right, so let's see how the scores are looking after that quick fire round. Okay, so at the end of that round, Sunrise scored 35 points, Opoku Wari score 45 points. <laughs> round four is our one on one round, brought to us courtesy of Indomie. The Shark Squares round four is brought to you by Indomie. We're going to pit specialists versus specialists English, math, science, and social literacy or social studies. Can I have our English specialist stay and come to the first lectern and the rest of you leave the stage for me, please. So Richard and Papaya, right? I'm going to start spelling a word, but I'll leave some gaps. You've got to give me the letters in that gap. Are we ready? Okay, so fair spelling, I-N-D dash dash i t a b l e that means impossible to doubt or unquestionable right richard o b o b o b is incorrect papaya o m o m is also incorrect i was looking for u b indoubtable okay second word again you're going to give me the missing letters m Dash, R, O, S, dash, to mean sullen and ill-tempered. Richard. O, E. Correct. Morose was the word we were looking for there. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. May I have my maths specialist on stage, please?
Okay, mathematicians. I've got Henry and Kweku. Are we ready? Okay. Page wishes to create a 10% solution of fictazole in water. To the nearest hundred, how many liters of 80% solution of fictazole have to be added to one liter of water to create such a solution? Henry. 25 liters. Incorrect. You have the rest of the time, Koyoku. Five seconds. Great. Incorrect. I was looking for 0 0.14. Okay, 0 0.14. Right, second question. The entries of one column of a 3 by 3 matrix are five times their corresponding entries in the other column. What is the determinant of that, the matrix? Your options are A, 25, B, 5, C, 1, D, cannot be determined, or E, cannot Henry. Cannot be determined. Five. Five what? Oh, you'll give me five as the answer. That's incorrect. Cannot be determined. That's also incorrect. It should have been none of these. Okay, none of these. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. May I have the scientists on stage, please? Right, Isaac and Duncan. Right, scientists, are you ready? Two questions. Okay, maths questions previously. I had uh, a Pokowari candidate say cannot be determined, and I said no. We're going to give it, because it's the same as none of these. Okay? All right. All right, scientists, are we ready? Which of the following best explains why leaves fall off trees it forms an accession layer at the base of the leaf, making it fall off. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Okay, your last question, scientists. Okay, fingers on the buzzers. What does this mean? The electromotive force, EMF, of a mobile phone battery is 3.9. Is it A, 3.7 joules is the maximum energy the battery can provide in one second? B, 3.7 joule is the total energy the battery can provide before it has to be recharged. C, 3.7 joules of energy is provided by the battery to drive a charge of one... Isaac. C. C is the correct answer. Okay? That's it. Science question's over. Thank you, Duncan. Right. Can I invite my social scientists up on stage? for the final part of our contest. All right, so are we ready? You can see the monitor, Justin? Yeah? And Quarting, yeah? Okay, so look on the monitor. I need you to identify this footballer. That was very quick, Justin. Yes. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus, well done. Second one is an audio. You need to listen and tell me who is speaking. Nobody, nobody has said that any party has a majority in the party, but the caucus has a majority. Yes. And the leader of that caucus is a majority leader. Yes. And that is whether or not he likes it. Yes. The leader of the majority caucus. Look, look. Quarting. Sammy JMC. No, it isn't. Justin. You are correct. You are correct. Sometimes you have to listen to what they are saying as well, okay? All right. So that brings us to the end of the one on one round. Justin, you can stay. You can stay. Everybody else can join us. Come up. Usually the context helps. You hear what they are talking about, so that really helps. Media partners for the Shucks Quiz. When you wake up in the morning before you start your day, breakfast time is careless time. For work and for play, for a great start to your day, breakfast time is careless time. We always
start our day with a nourishing Kellogg's breakfast. Powered with the goodness of grains and 11 essential vitamins and minerals. So in our family, breakfast time is Kellogg's time. This advertisement has been voted and approved by the FDA. Whenever Princess starts, the neighbors do complain that her voice and the beat are too loud. Who is scared of the voices of tomorrow's superstars? You were special in your way. It's me. Indomie Instant Noodles tastes great. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Are you a motivated student interested in English, mathematics, science and computational thinking? You want to stay competitive with hundreds of thousands of smart students from across the globe? Welcome to the Ghana Olympiad Academy. At the Ghana Olympiad Academy, we give access to students from grade 2 to SHS 3 to take part in international Olympiads. Candidates, prepare and seat these exams online and get the chance to qualify for the Olympiads in rotating host nations across the world. Some of the international Olympiads include the International Junior Math Olympiad, Vanda Science Olympiad, Kangaroo Math, Hippo English Olympiad, Design Thinking, Robotics and Computational Thinking, amongst others. Join the Ghana Olympiad Academy today and catch up with the rest of the world academically. Go to www.ganaolympiadacademy.com or WhatsApp 0570-898-762 for more. All right, all too soon, we're at the end of this contest. All right, so let's look at the scores at the end of the one-on-one -on -one round. At the end of that round, Sunrise have 10 points, Opoku Warrior have 40 points. Let's see how that's looking overall. So at the end of the contest, our scores currently are 105 for Sunrise and 155 for Opoku Warrior Stone. Well done, well done, well done. That brings us to the end. Next year, I'm sure we'll see Sunrise again. And Opoku Warrior, you've made it through to the next round. So that brings us to the end of this episode of Shah's Quiz Season 5 Seniors, a hard-fought competition. And again, we have been brought to you courtesy of the following sponsors, Kellogg's, Indomie. Our academic sponsors are Family Health Medical School, Ashesi University, Academic University College, Lewis University US, and University of the State, Free State in South Africa. We also have the following sponsors, Vivo Energy and Fortune Rice. And my wardrobe has been ably sponsored by Excella Fabrics and Numa Couture. Again, my name is Evelyn Ejipong, and I've been your quiz mistress for today's episode. See you next time.
everyone with roots in the Oti region of Ghana and to Team Aiko, I say Lo Yami Odudu. My name is Glory Ifwa Aiko Adade with stage name Aiko, a 20-year-old veterinary medical student at Ghana's premier university. I hail from Akpafu Odomi in the Oti region and in this year's Ghana's Most Beautiful, I am proud and honored to be the fourth Oti regional representative. This year, expect magic on stage as I bring to life the untold tales of Ghana's melting pot of culture and tourism, the Oti region of Ghana. Rabies currently cost Ghana 129 million Ghana cities.